Hello, and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Crimes Without Criminals. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up in the near future, so make sure you click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new episode. I'd also like to tell you about a service called HollywoodIsCalling.com. It's a great way to purchase a live phone call from more than 100 celebrities. Uh, the calls begin at just $19.95, and you can buy one for yourself or as a gift for somebody you care about. Uh, give it a try. HollywoodIsCalling.com. Now, let's get started. The world of law enforcement and the general public are now witnessing an incredible new phenomena that is transforming the world of finance, uh, the world of banking, uh, the world of street crime, the world of politics. It is transforming our culture. What we're seeing is an explosion in crimes being committed without criminals. This new category of crimes is occurring at all levels. It is happening across the entire economy. It's happening in the world of hackers, online hackers. It's happening in the white collar world, in the corporate world. It's happening at the street level. It's happening in the world of politics. It seems to be happening everywhere and it's causing crimes that the police are finding to be extremely difficult, if not impossible to investigate or prosecute. The same thing goes for the national law enforcement. They're finding that so many of these crimes are now so stealthy, so invisible, so difficult to track, so difficult to identify, uh, that, um, that confirming who's behind these crimes is almost an impossibility. One such example is the growing use of software bots by hackers to just roam the internet automatically and endlessly and continue to look for victims to steal the money of or identities of or the property or assets of. There are literally millions of these bots cruising the internet 24 hours a day, month after month, year after year. I've heard that when you're on your computer, that if you don't have antivirus software loaded on your machine protecting your computer, then there are as many as 60,000 malware, Trojan horses, and viruses cruising past your machine every minute, trying to enter it through one of the ports, trying to violate uh, or break into your machine. 60,000 viruses a minute. So keep that in mind the next time you think about not using your antivirus software or getting some cheap, free antivirus software online. The next form of crimes without identifiable criminals are, are groups that are working in large teams together, and many of their members may literally have hundreds of fake IDs set up to conceal their identities. Now, what's very challenging about these criminals is that some of their fake IDs were literally set up legitimately through the local Department of Motor Vehicles. You know, gone are the days where criminals might do crimes with no ID on them, or they might uh, have a fake ID, thinking that would be enough for them to slip away. Um, that's just not the case anymore. This problem means that law enforcement may check the ID of a criminal and, uh, and it may appear to be real uh, because it was actually created at a DMV by somebody who's been bribed to do so. Some states have facial recognition technology built into their systems, now which identifies driver's license photos uh, that are being used by multiple individuals. That means that if the police take a suspect's photo and run it through the system, they may find that Person, that a person's face is being used by dozens of different criminals or driver's licenses. Another new form of crimes without criminals is identity theft for cars. That's right. Cars are now having their, identity, uh, their identities stolen. Everybody knows that cars have a VIN number, vehicle identification number, on their identity uh, in the state's computer system. 
But what they don't know is that many criminals are now removing many of those legitimate VIN numbers, VIN number plates, from all the places on the cars that they're hidden and concealed, including the one on the dash that everybody's supposed to see, and they're replacing them with new VIN numbers. Sometimes these fake new VIN numbers will be changed every year or two on a stolen car, uh, especially if it's a particularly valuable car. The point here is to create several levels of disconnect between the car's original owner and whoever the current owner is, the current unlawful owner. The more often you change the VIN number, the more secure it is its new owner feels in their car not being identified as stolen. Another major problem with crimes without identifiable criminals is that they're very difficult to successfully prosecute because defense attorneys can raise tremendous amounts of reasonable doubt in front of a jury or judge uh, when it's not absolutely clear who is behind the crime or if the person they've arrested actually did it. Another thing that law enforcement is being challenged by is how easy it is to hide or obfuscate or confuse the facial recognition technology included in so many surveillance cameras. Sometimes a person can conceal themselves with as little as a hoodie, and sometimes they can hide with a facial blurring mask. That's a mask that looks like clear plastic from a distance, but when you get a little closer, you notice it has these wavy clear lines going through it. And these lines are really good at confusing facial recognition systems. Now, because all of these issues and many more are creating an explosion of crimes being committed without identifiable criminals, uh, this problem is just growing to staggering proportions. Thank you for watching. I want to tell you that we're going to have more great celebrity interviews and more breaking news stories coming up in the future. So we encourage you to subscribe to our free channel and click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new story. Thank you and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.